what to do today. I'm off today. And it's a holiday, Memorial Day. Yeah, today's Monday, May 29th. I can remember back in the days, people always referred to this holiday as not only Memorial Day, but the 30th of May. And uh, it's interesting, today's the 29th, not the 30th. And it's kind of getting me confused. So, I think my first stop is going to be Goodwill. I'm hanging out with my grandson today. He's, he'll be five, he'll be six his next birthday. He's five now. And he loves going to Goodwill. So that's where we're headed. And I was kind of lucky enough to find a parking spot right in front. I mean, I don't know if that's lucky or not because I do need some exercise. So I don't know if that's lucky to find a parking spot that's so close. You guys saw me earlier spraying my hair off, spraying it with water, just regular water. Because I don't do anything with my hair with it like this. I don't do anything with my hair that where I don't put water on it first. Because it keeps it from breaking off. And I'm trying to grow my hair back. So, here we go. It's hot. It's hot. It's 85 degrees. I live in Illinois and it's the beginning of summer. <laughs> what? What is coming our way? I'm not making a prediction, but it's going to be a hot summer. And usually in the Midwest, that sometimes means tornadoes, thunderstorm warnings, all sorts of things going on with the weather. I'm planning a trip, you guys, to actually just everywhere. Uh, mostly in the South, uh, Florida, Georgia, uh, just everywhere. And I'm going to vlog. I'm going to take you guys along with me. So you might want to subscribe to this channel. It'll be interesting. It'll be me facing a lot of my fears. Um, my son will be doing the driving. At first, we were going to take a train because I knew I wasn't flying. Because if you fly, you miss out on everything. I mean, what if I fly to, say, uh, New York, I'm going to miss everything in between. So we're doing an extended road trip. Probably about two and a half weeks of going wherever we feel like going. But one of our destinations is definitely Florida because I have relatives that live there that I haven't seen in years. Um, and I can't wait to see them. I really... Uh, I'm counting on being able to make that that trip but today this vlog is just gonna be around town I'm shopping and uh, I'm gonna cook later on I think I'm gonna make ribs barbecue ribs not on a grill uh, just in the oven potato salad spaghetti and maybe maybe cabbage I don't know about cabbage probably won't be cabbage uh, and yeah I'm gonna eat pretty well and if it turns out pretty good as you usually do <laughs> if I can I'll share with you uh, the results if not maybe in my next video also you guys um, when you get a chance follow me think about follow me on Instagram I'm tomorrow again 11 11 and I do post there often as a matter of fact I'm gonna make a post today it's tomorrow again 11 11 on Instagram 
I know it's been a long time since I've put anything or post anything on YouTube, but doggone it, I'm back. <laughs> I don't. The kind where you're sitting in the car. Can you see it? Where you're sitting in the car while your car is being washed. Nope, not for me. It's such a beautiful day. I just didn't want to stay in the house on my day off. I wanted to be out and about. <laughs> yeah. You probably can. It's cute, but it's not in my size. I don't know what size to do. I can't toast like this. This is toast soft. Huh. Yeah, it is. Oh. Um, I actually came here to get some bottle of water, but I'm looking at everything but bottle of water. Ooh.
Oh, there's the drinks. More water, yes. Ooh, just the kind I want. Oh my goodness, this is one up to $3.19 a bottle. Buy the cheaper water. Prices of stuff is just crazy. I got a taste for some chips. I know it's junk food, but I don't care. Those are straws. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see what's on YouTube. Oh. Don't need to that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hello, welcome to tomorrow again. I want to explain something to you guys really, really quick before I get into this video. And I can only explain my process, my intuitive process. You know, everyone doesn't do something the exact same way. So my process is and when I mean my process, I'm talking about my intuitive process. It is more feel, hear, analyze, use synchronicity, a lot of metaphys a lot of metaphysics like synchronicity. I use all of those tools to come up with an answer. And I spend very little time trying to figure out who did this, who is responsible. I'm not the police. I spend most of my energy trying to figure out where. And if the who happens to slip in there somehow, then so be it. But I don't intentionally look for the who. I was making spaghetti. And... I could hear, I had the television on and I could hear um, the show the next 48 hours. I could hear that playing in the background and they were talking about Natalie Holloway. I haven't spent a whole lot of time thinking about Natalie Holloway, but for some reason in that moment, I had a few, a few intuitive feelings. The f and again, it, it, my process isn't about being right, wrong, or getting the first the first one to come to get the answer. I'm just putting the information out there. The first thing that I felt regarding Natalie Holloway, and I'm sure most of you guys have heard about Natalie Holloway. Holloway, sorry, she's the American woman who. I think she went to Aruba. I'm not sure. Uh, she went uh, for her graduation, and she never returned. The authorities there questioned uh, several males regarding her disappearance. They were even arrested and then later let go. I, I don't have a whole lot of information about the case, and I prefer it that way. I just know... Natalie Holloway is American. She has blonde hair. She was a teenager back then. And she went to a, a foreign country. And she went missing. And her family has been desperately trying to find her. The in-betweens, I really haven't paid much attention to. But this is what I got. I felt someone with an accent. And at first, hold on, let me turn my phone around. I heard someone in my mind's eye with an accent, but my first thought was that it was a southern accent. 
a specific type of Southern accent. And I am being honest with you when I tell you, I had no idea until I watched the rest of the show that Natalie Holloway is from the South. Uh, if I heard it correctly, she's from the South. And that's the accent that I believe I heard. I also saw her going down somewhere like a, a makeshift boat or an actual boat and it's blue or black it's dark and I can't really tell I can't make the color out but there's a number on the boat as you, as you go down the stairs or down below there's a number and the number I believe is outlined in either yellow or white and I think it's a number and there's something to the right regarding the number that looks like a seven why I can't see the whole thing or tell you exactly where it is I don't know I'm just giving you what I'm getting I see her going below and there's someone, I believe this is a male, and he is wiping his nose and sniffing. Um, I can't exactly see his face, but yet I can. I know he's wiping his nose and, he, and he's sniffing at the same time. Now that I'm down here, I feel, and I'm, I guess I'm taking myself to this location in my mind's eye and I hear there's somebody else down there or what I didn't expect anyone to be down there but there's someone down there that I didn't expect and I can hear them moving off in the distance then I begin to feel afraid and betrayed like someone betrayed me someone told me one thing and it ended up being something else I think there's a few secrets out there uh, regarding her friends and I think they for whatever reason they're not coming forward with this particular information and I don't know what the information is I just feel like something is being withheld verbally uh, from her friends or from her family. Uh, they're not putting some of the information out there. Whether or not Natalie is alive still or has passed on, has been killed, I really don't know. I really can't tell. This so-called intuitive thing, this psychic thing, there's a lot to, that. there's a lot that needs to be uh, looked into. There's a lot that needs to be studied. Um, and as I said, I can't figure out the why, what, who, and all these questions. I can only give you what I am receiving or what I'm able to pick up. And I've always said that intuitive energy is like trying to bring up energy from 20 years ago or a memory from 20 years ago or maybe even five months ago you're trying to figure out like what was that what was that person's name what was the name of that street it works very similar to that um and i'll say this i hope that natalie returns home to her family um i don't sense that that will happen anytime soon and i hope i'm wrong about that I feel like she never left that country, but she did. Because I see a city or a town, and I think ah, it reminds me of the name Minerva, Morovia, Mar Marinia, Marina, I don't know. It reminds me of a name like that. I see her going from one place to another place. And one of the places, and I believe it's the second place, 
starts with an M. Or maybe it's a marina. I don't know. If anyone out there has any idea what happened to Natalie Holloway, please, please come forward. Let the authorities know. Um, and it's a, it's a shame that her family doesn't have any um, uh, real answers or, or real uh, closure. I, I almost, in the future, I don't know, I might decide to do a tarot card reading on Natalie Holloway. I don't really want to do so many tarot card readings. Uh, I don't really want the, a lot of that energy in my own home. So um, I, I kind of do them very, very spare, sparingly. So maybe I might go somewhere else and do uh, a tarot card reading and, and put the energy out there and be ready to receive the energy. I hope your day has been going fantastic. I hope everyone's day is going exactly the way they want it to go. But if it's not, be on your P's and Q's and don't let people rattle you because they're out there ready to do it. The more rattled they feel, the more they want to rattle you. So don't allow it. You actually have a choice. Let it bounce right off of you. I know that's easier said than done. With practice, you can do it. I also wanted to um, let you guys know there's something in particular that I've been trying to process. Uh, I see... And, and I can't really figure out where... I know it's in Europe. And I see a little... Sim, or, or flashes of, of pictures. And one thing I see is the Colosseum. Something might be unearthed there. Because I see a roller coaster type of... Grooves around near there. And there may be some... Energy is leading me to think that there's something in the earth going on there. Be, be aware, you guys. There's going to be a lot of things unearthed. A lot of interesting uh, things will be revealed. Okay. First of all, please consider subscribing to this channel. I would appreciate it. Give this channel, give this, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. And check out my second channel. It's tomorrow again, too. I'm not really all that sure what I'm going to do with it just yet, but it'll be interesting. Go ahead and subscribe. You might as well uh, describe and, I mean, you might as well subscribe and support the channel. This is tomorrow again, wishing you the best of the best.